running back that you did last week? Um, you know, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of hips by play, so it's really, you know, I don't even know how Sat, I haven't seen Sat and the offensive staff's openers yet. So, you know, it could be, it could be really any of the guys to start it, but, but, you know, Ramir, you know, the first time we go out and throw down, Ramir will take those snaps and, um, yeah, so I, I think it'll be pretty close to the same. It's just, I don't know how exactly the game will start, to be honest with you. For, for some of the guys who weren't ready for UTEP, Blyhill, Lutovsky, Gunner, are they ready to go for this one? Yep, yep they're all right. They're all up. Sort of the same formula at kicker as you had the first week. Uh, I, I think Tristan would be the kicker. You know, um, I think uh, you know there's probably a spot maybe where Hole we could use Hole, but I think we feel really good about where Tristan's at right now. And uh, you know, John once he settled down in the game, you know, kicked off the second two kicks. You know, he kicked them with you know over four, four second hang time. You know, kicked the ball through the end zone. So, um, but uh, yeah, Tristan's our, our field goal kicker. <clears throat> As the future schedule set right now, there isn't another game between Nebraska and Colorado moving forward. What do you hope for this rivalry? Uh, I have no, I have no thoughts on that, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I think none of us really know what the world's going to be like here soon. And um, until all the conferences have the same, we all play the same amount of conference games. You know, as I've said to you before, if they would have said to me last year, like, hey, we're going to schedule UCLA and USC in the non-con and the same year, I'd have thrown a fit. Well, here they are. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know that. Troy, that it's good thing about having Troy who'll handle all those things. I'm, I'm kind of just very much in the moment. I do think it's great we're playing, but I don't, I don't know what'll happen. And Matt, with the, you know, the heated rivalry and all the eyeballs, all the cameras and stuff on this game, what do you, what's the message to the players when it comes to like, um, just keeping composure on the field when you know, just a, a heated electric environment. Yeah, I mean, it's the same message we have all the time. I mean, you know, to me, when we play, you know, we're worried about us. Um, we try to play one snap at a time. I mean, you know, if you if you come to practice or if you listen to something I say on Chasing Three, it's pretty much always the same thing, right? You know, play, play together, <laughs> play one snap at a time, get ready to go compete. So, um, you know, if, if we play differently because of who we're playing, then we're not really who we say we are. We, got, we, we play our, to our standard, and sometimes we don't get to our standard, but the goal this week is to play to our standard. and. Um, TV cameras and eyeballs watching shouldn't affect that. It, I'm sure it does in human nature, you know, but we don't want it to. And so we're just trying to, we're trying to, you know, I showed them the Bud Crawford, Errol Spence fight this week. And you see just the way, you know, Terrence, you know, Crawford goes out there to fight, you know, and just the way he's, he's just so stoic and stone faced and methodical. And, you know, he, he walk, he just keeps that jab going. He walks in, he takes a punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch, and just, it's not a lot of emotion in rah rah. Not a lot of flash. He's even dapping up. He's even dapping up Spence after the seventh round when he knocked him down for the second time. You know, I mean, like they just respects his opponent, but he's he's just closing the distance, biding his time, and then the ninth, you know, he attacks. And so um, that picture of what that great, you know, a great boxer who's obviously local, but a great boxer looks like. That to me is what a great football team looks like. It's not emotional. It's not swinging from side to side. It's just very methodical and stoic and stone-faced. And so, um, yeah, so I hope we play that way. You know, there'll be some young guys, I'm sure they'll get lost a little bit in the moment. But um, but I also want us to enjoy this, you know. I also want us to enjoy this. You know, we're, we're obviously having this opportunity because of Colorado and what they bring. Um, but our fans are here because of us. And so we'll play for our fans. And we'll play for our families. We'll play for each other and play for the state of Nebraska and all the Husker fans out there and see what happens. What are some of the most intense crowd games that you've ever been a part of? Um, I would say, I would say, there were mainly road games. I've never, I've never coached in this environment before, right? So as a home environment, like we didn't have that at Temple. We had a great environment at Baylor, but not this. And we didn't have it in Carolina. First year was COVID, and so it's just a different. So I've never had that. NFL stadiums, as I've said, are different, but. You know, I'd say when I was at I'd say when I was at Temple going to Penn State, I mean Penn State's really, really loud. You know, it's a steel stadium. I mean, even the double ear thing hasn't worked. Um, in, in the American, honestly, going to UCF was like that because they're another steel stadium that, that just reverberates. But I'd say the pro loudest place I've probably ever been would be um, would probably be uh, Penn State. Is there anything new on Javen, right? How's, how's he doing? Yeah, it's funny you said that. We got a really positive update on him today. So, um, you know, things are trending in the right direction for him to come back at some point and sooner than later. So, you know, but again, there's a lot of steps that have to happen. So I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but, um, you know, he's battling. And, um, 
um, doing everything right. So we got a really good report I, literally, literally this morning. So I'm, I'm, I got a little pep in my step for him. So pretty cool. You see, like when the defense huddles up to go out, he always goes out with them. So it's, you know, it's 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 like, hey, I can't be out there. So play, you know, I'm out there in spirit. Though it's pretty cool. Guys, we could have done this via text, guys. Technical. <laughs> I can see it, right?